Welcome back, folks, to Sander Bager C, uh, Germany here for Big Head Honors Comp. And this is a guide for it. So basically, just to so you know the rule set, you need a keep net and a float tackle. And you're catching all forms or uh, all, all the big head you can f catch. And what we're going to do here is we're going to spawn at uh, Fields of Gold. Here is the setup, by the way, here first. Um, it is vegetables with a 4-0 hook. Uh, definitely the hook size matters. Uh, when I use bigger, I don't do as well, for sure. And this is the setup if you want to uh, pause the video and look at each piece of this. And the for all locations, the depth is going to be 10 inches or 25 centimeters, guys. And we are going to spawn at Fields of Gold for spot one. One thing to know, too, I want to talk about in this comp in particular, and I think this is why a lot of people don't do well at it. If you are catching silver, uh, silver carp, a lot of people will move after they catch a lot of silver carp. That generally is a bad idea, especially if it's trophy and unique silver carp. Because that means that generally what is left is big heads. And for example, what I mean is each one of these spots that I'm going to show you is going to have a unique of each. And if you catch it in the first 15 minutes, you can get the unique at the end as well. Same with the trophies. If you catch them in the first 15 minutes, you can catch them again at the end. And so... If you if you catch you know two silver trophy carp uh, silver carp trophies, don't go ahead and move. Stay there because the chances of you getting a big head trophy or a unique big head are very good. You're taking out the fish that are possible out of the spot, but this is the spot right here, and you're gonna just cast right out to here. On my first cast of the time, I will go slightly too far. And then reel it into the depth that I want. And just keep in mind the wind is almost always from the west. So it's going to blow to the right. And I almost always set my deal at 112. And then reel it in. And you want to be just right around there guys. For spot one. And at the end I will show you all the marks. And another thing to note too. Uh, this is kind of counterintuitive. Like I said with the silver carp. If you're catching silver carp stay. And... For example, let's say you get the unique bed, big head right away and a trophy on your second cast. Well, then you know that the only thing left is going to be one big head trophy, two silvers, and a unique. So you're probably going to want to move because the odds are the next fish you're going to get is most likely going to be a silver. You have to play the odds in this one. I know that sounds crazy, but anyway, what we're going to do here now is we're just going to transfer spawns and go back to fields of gold and you're going to come over here and i will show you the guys the marks and you're going to cast this is a perfect spot because it's as far as you can cast and unclip your line obviously when you come back here but and you'll just cast all the way as far as you can if you're using this setup uh, but otherwise i will show you the mark for it and like i said play the odds if you get a uh, unique big head out of here and possibly a trophy really quick move on to the third spot otherwise if you're catching silver go ahead and stay here because uh, you know if you're catching a trophy silver and a unique silver the odds are is you're going to get a big head trophy or unique next so this this comp is definitely counterintuitive it goes against all you think and i think that's why people struggle with it and then for spot three this does not have a unique but there is two trophies here this is what i use if i'm having a really good day uh here and uh it, the scores vary quite a bit one day you'll come here and struggle and catch a bunch of silver and you know, take a while to get your uniques out of that spot, but you can catch anywhere. I've caught, or I've caught upwards of 310 pounds, I think is my best score here. And uh, some days, 200 might win it. So just keep that in mind, folks. Uh, it, it's very hard to be 
um, consistent scores here because of how much it varies. Um, and then we're going to go back and I'm going to show you the marks. But like I said, make sure you're playing the odds on this one. This is the one comp that's a very different from the others, and that's why I like it. I think I do well. Is Okay, this is spot one, and this is the stand mark. It is 105, or 1057.2 and 705. And you guys can pause here for the marks um, if you want to place them on your map. But... The big deal is play your odds in all of these spots. This is spot two right here. And this is one that, you know, will require a little bit of practice. And always use vegetables, technoplankton, that's for the cloudy day. This comp will always be the vegetable day. And this is the last spot. Also, if you catch your unique in your first 15 minutes at spot one, uh, go back to it a half an hour real time of when you caught it so that you have a chance to catch it again at the end because if you get two uniques from the spot unique big heads from the spot the chances are you're going to get 300 in this one but hopefully this guide helps you out guys we'll see you next time have a good one